In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to expand your power chords, if you will, because power chords are awesome. They sound great. They really fit well in a mix. They're mean, they're punchy, but sometimes you can add a little bit more dynamic to that chord, making it sound fuller, bigger, more powerful, more punchy, more high end than just these low chords. Listen to the difference between this versus this. Completely different sounding, but the same notes. Obviously, this is a power chord. And this is the same chord, but played differently on the higher strings. Now, I'm not saying to completely switch out the two chords, because obviously, that will give you two completely different sounds. And depending on the sound that you're going for, it could drastically change the tone achieved, right? What I am saying is that the two can be used interchangeably to give you totally different tonal feelings within your song. Maybe the power chords fit better over a verse and the fuller chord will give you a different tone on the chorus or maybe a pickup chord to give you a different sound. Let me show you an example. Listen to this. Can you imagine if Jakey Lee played that instead of this? And it gave it a completely different tonal thumbprint, if you will, a sonic thumbprint. So it just can expand your repertoire, your, your arsenal. Let me show you exactly how to do that. So if we're in the key of A, which is here on the fingerboard, starting at five on the low E string, that's what that sounds like. Take your index finger, five on the low E, seven on the A, and seven on the D string. We'll give you a power chord. But if we shifted that, take your index finger, put it on the seven on the D string, take your ring finger, put it on the nine on the G string, and take your pinky finger, put it on the 10 on the B string, it will give you this sound. Totally, totally different. Let me show you up close. And that is still an A chord, just sounds different. It sounds higher pitched. Look, my point is you can really change the dynamic of a song by just doing those chords instead. Maybe my song goes like this. A really simple chord progression in the key of B. In order to change that over to the other style of chord that I was just talking about, we would merely shift it up, take the last note of that power chord on the D string, you take your index finger, put it on nine on the D string, you take your ring finger, put it on 11 on the G string, and then we're gonna take our pinky finger and put it on 12 on the B string. And it just looks like this, it's kind of, spread out just like this, but that will give us a completely different tone. And it might just sound different. So if we flop between the two. It's a totally different sound, isn't it, Callie? It's a totally different sound. You shouldn't always change out your power chords for these chords. It just should be used sparingly as ear candy, if you will. Maybe make your one part of your song stand out just a little bit more. This is just a quick lesson on expanding your chord repertoire, making your power chords a little bit more juicy. Again, it's the same notes. It's just flipped up. Let me know if this lesson helped you out. Let me know in a comment. And if you did, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe onto my channel for more guitar related content. And in the meantime, you should check out some of this other cool stuff that I've posted on here. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Cliffhanger, and I'll see you the next time that I see you. Callie's telling me I gotta go take her for a walk. Peace. Oh, you wanna come say hi? Come here, come here. Hi, girl. That's my girl, come here. She says, oh, I'm sick and tired of hearing you try to learn how to play Bark at the Moon just for this example. I know, girl. I'm sick and tired of Bark at the Moon, too.